Hey guys, this is Rahul and you welcome to gomahamaya.com and in this tutorial we'll be learning how you can properly configure Monarch plugin in your WordPress website. Before you purchase the Monarch plugin, let me introduce some basic informations about Monarch plugin. You can have all kinds of sharing options in Monarch which is there to increase your social engagement. Number one, pop-up sharing options. You can cancel this. This was a pop-up message. Number two, just end line. Number three, you can add in the sidebars. Number four, you can add in the widgets options. Number five, it will be floating from the corner. So that I have left because adding all the options is not necessary. This is one of the most fastest and the best plugin ever created. So let's get started. I hope you have already purchased the Monarchy and activated it after the installation. If you haven't, there's a link in the description box. Click on the link to make the purchase and installation is quite easy you just need to drag and upload it that's it once you're done click on setting and once you click on setting you'll get manage location where you'll find total five kinds of location but before this you need to set network what networks you want to be there on your sharing posts or pages so click on network on this and here you have to click on add networks and what are the networks you want in your website if you'll ask me i'll tell you to use limited number of networks maximum five networks best five number one facebook number two twitter just click on that number three google plus number four buffer or you can choose pin interest out of these one and scroll down if you scroll down you'll find linkedin so total five I have selected, you can choose one between buffer or you can choose pin interest, which one is popular among your locality. So once you're done, click on save, change or apply. If you'll choose everyone, trust me, it will affect your loading because every icons need to be get loaded. Click on apply and now it got added to a network. And once you're done, click on save change. Next, you need to click on location and inside locations, you'll find total five kinds of options. Sidebar, you want inline or you want as a pop-up, fly-in or the media. So I'll, so I'll be teaching you all the optimized options by which you can increase your more social engagement by maintaining your website speed too. So in my view, the sidebar is awesome. You have to select that and you should select inline and you should select pop-up. All these three options are quite awesome. You can sometimes you can select media. If you think your website is related to images or photography, then you should select media one. If not, please and please avoid uh, selecting media one. Now click on save change. Now I'll take you to the any of the blog posts and there you'll see if you'll uh, if you'll see uh, like just below the content, you can see all the Twitter, Facebook, Buffer and all the contents will see 000 because you just installed Monarch. That's why it's showing no sharing options. And you can see the sidebar also is looking quite beautiful, right? And now go back again. And we have already set the network. We have to click on sidebars. And inside sidebars, you have to choose the icon design, which kind of icon you want. You can select it from here, which one ever, which looking beautiful, you select that, that design. So I'll choose it to the first one and you can select the shape you can select the round one or square one now scroll down and here inside the display setting the most important is hide on the mobile devices you should keep it hide it because in the mobile version you will not see anything here in this area as here you can see the pop-up came up so i should cancel that it will increase your mode engagement right so for mobile version this thing should not be coming right so we have selected that hide on mobile devices you should select and you should select display total share how many total sharings are there you need to select that and there are like two themes light or dark you have to select that and you can even select display share count how many share count for facebook twitter buffer all these others once you're done you need to scroll down you can select the colors colors i'm not telling you and more, most important thing is post type settings you want it to be on home page pages or the posts mostly any website need sharing icons only on the posts so if you'll ask me i never suggested anyone to use on the pages and the home page so for the most preferred one is the post because pages will be five or six pages maximum in any website but posts will be hundred thousands two thousand like that it will once you're done click save changes now move up and click on inline 
similarly you can choose icon design for inline and similarly here is the display settings for inline you can hide it on mobile if you want but inline hiding is not suggested so leave it to the default one whatever setting is there and here you have to maintain the width in the display setting you need to click on that and you need to choose auto width it should get adjusted according to the device now scroll down and you can set the color and here the post type is selected click on save change now i'll go to my post and i'll refresh that now you can see it's fully responsive and it's like according to device it's got adjusted size right we'll go back to our setting part again now move up and there inside pop-ups and fly in you'll find the same setting you can configure it and if you click on media media is only advisable to be enabled only on a photography website where images are the spatial contents so make sure you have selected on media and there inside this particular option you should select the media one and click on save change and next click on social follow and inside social follow you need to click on add network and I want to add Facebook I want to add Twitter and I want to add pin interest and I'll click on apply and here you have to add your Facebook URL let's say go to Facebook and type facebook.com forward slash go mahamaya this is my page url so i'll copy the url and i'll go back and i'll paste in this area where url is required. similarly you have to paste the tito url and the pin interest url and you should write the name for example like you write go mahamaya or here also you write go mahamaya and now you need to scroll down and you need to click on save changes and once you're done you need to click on shortcuts and inside shortcuts if you scroll down you you can set these options and once you're done you click on generate shortcuts so now copy the shortcuts and click on save change and you need to hover over appearance and you need to click on widgets open a new tab and once you are inside the widgets you need to scroll down and you need to find text option you just need to click on that and you need to add it to the sidebars click on add widgets and you need to paste that portal shortcuts and here you need to type the title let's say follow us now click on save change and now if you go to the blog part and if you refresh you can see the followers twitter pinterest how many followers you have everything you can see in this area but as of now you could not see any followers here like zero on the Facebook and zero on the Twitter zero on the Pinterest so for getting that followers you need to go back to that monarch plugin and there if you we'll move up there you'll find zero on this area zero on this area and zero on this area and they're like told two method by which you can do this number one manual editing the numbers of followers like add 21 here and 20 followers here and 10 followers here like I have added this you click on save change now go back and refresh the page and you can see that 21 follower here on the Facebook Twitter 20 Pinterest 10 followers and second method you need to get it via API API method is a bit difficult for beginners they may get trouble in between but but I'll try my best in order to explain you the concept and that will be done automatically if there's one like on the Facebook it will increase instantly now go back and there you need to click on general setting and inside general if you click you'll you'll be there on the main part and here you have a frequency of count updated so you can change it whatever you want but in my opinion leave it to the default one and here you need to get the Facebook API and app secret for that you need to go to developers.facebook.com slash apps this link I'll drop you in the description box and if you're new to developers.facebook.com then you need to make sign up first I hope so I don't remember because I did a long back and once you are there on developer.facebook.com forward slash apps you need to click on add new apps and here you have to write the display name whatever display name you want to write let's say monarch plugin for I'm using that's why I'm writing monarch you click on create app ID and here you have to verify that you are human 
and finally your app id will get generated uh, if you could not get redirected to this page you will find this option you need to click here and you need to select the app which you have created just now so i've created monarch so i'll click on that and next you need to click on dashboard and then you need to click on setting inside setting you'll find basic options so these options that keeps on updating you need to find out the exact option in the future uh, where these options will be there i cannot exactly tell you so i'll copy the app id you'll find the app id and app secret so go back to the monarchy and there you write down the app id and there you need to get app secret so you click on show and the app secret got generated i need to copy this and i need to go back and paste in the app secret option and i need to click on authorize and i could not show you the real preview of that because uh, my website uh, demo.gomahamaya don't have HTTPS options that's why it's, say, it's saying me uh, error again and again so that was the setting you need to follow up and once you are done you will see here uh, followers of your Facebook page similarly if we'll move on social follow if we'll click on get count via via api then whatever this ad network you have added let's say twitter or pinterest apply and you need to similarly set up that key for twitter secret key for twitter like that you need to follow and again you need to authorize but i could not show you because there is no ssl here again i'll be in the problem so once you are done click on save change and apart from this there's nothing else which need to be set up inside the monarch plugin i have discussed each and every options except that authorization part because ssl i'm missing if you have any question or query let me know in the comment section if you find this video useful give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the more further updates thank you